Fayetteville State University recently celebrated their 146th spring commencement. For nearly a century and a half, students have been taking their first steps into the real world as Bronco alums. A lot of dedication, a lot of hard work, a lot of long nights, but uh, you have to stay with it, and as long as you stay with it, you can work it out. Taylor Jordan and Janya Sasso graduated at the top of their class, leading the way for Bronco excellence in and out of the classroom. Long nights, lots of studying, studying on the weekends, every day after school, just a lot of studying, a lot of keeping abreast with everything that's going on in the classes, really, just really not taking too much time off, just really keeping everything fresh so you're ready for pop quizzes, tests, anything. Believe in yourself. Surround yourself with people who believe in you. For all these students, it begins and ends with family. Uh, my dad, uh, when I was in uh, school growing up and everything I did, he told me uh, no matter how good you do, just always try to strive to do better. So even if I were getting B's and stuff, he'd be like, why couldn't you get an A? If I got a 95, why can't you get a 97? You know, so I learned from him. Uh, my family's from an island called Anguilla, so this is a very very big accomplishment for me for them they're very they're very happy for me that I came this far they're just happy happy about it my mom's excited my dad's excited all my aunts my uncles my cousins everyone's excited about it the commencement address hit as close to home as possible as former Broncos were highlighted for their success in corporate America. We also have two people in our home office, Sakana Hu and Chris Pennick. They graduated four years ago. They're both married. Chris is a buyer for Sam's Club. When you go in Sam's Club and you eat any candy or snacks, you have an FSU graduate to thank for that, so Chris does that. Um, and Sakana has gotten several promotions at Walmart. She's a senior strategy manager in logistics. But both of them say what the professors did for them is they showed them the untapped potential that they had in themselves and they taught them to believe in themselves. So think of everyone that invested in your future, thank them today, and then pay it forward for other people going forward. By the end of the day, many faces would come and go across the stage, complete with handshakes, smiles, and lots and lots of photos. The culminating moment of four years of achievement and heartfelt memories. Bittersweet. It's completely bittersweet, man. I mean, the thought of coming in as a freshman and not really wanting to be in college and say, hey, man, I can't wait till I get up out of here and start my life. I'm ready for the real world. Now it's so bittersweet to say, wow, Chancellor Anderson's still here, but I'm leaving. I'm leaving Chancellor Anderson. That's my man. And leaving so many faculty and staff members, so many of my peers, it's just, it's so bittersweet. That's the only word I can think of to describe this feeling. Um, it's surreal. I don't really know how to describe it. Like, I'm extremely excited. I'm extremely happy. I'm looking forward to the future, but it's bittersweet because I'm really going to miss my institution, my friends. I'm going to miss everyone. And I'll constantly be checking in as much as I possibly can and giving as much as I possibly can until the day I die. I love my alma mater.